welcome back to my channel. I have seven in a different place. My plant is well and truly dying. He's falling over. I'm a terrible plant mother. And this one is a fake one. So um, this is what I'm going to stick with from future because they don't die. I also killed a cactus the other day. Let me just show you my cactus real quick. Yep. I know. How do you kill a cactus? On to my misguided haul. So, I'll totally admit, Misguided is a brand that I don't usually shop from. I think I've said it before, it's just there's a lot of stuff on it. This is Misguided, by the way. But actually, um, yeah, I don't usually shop from it because there's a lot on there. And I find it often very, very overwhelming. I'm like, whoa, there's so much on there. I can't even deal. Like, it's... But there are a lot of things on there that I do actually like. If I take the time to shop it. I'm gonna start with this jacket because this is something that I was really, 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 really excited by. This definitely looked more nude, kind of like a glossy nudie peach in the pictures. It's actually more of a definite, even though it did describe it as peach, um, it has arrived and it is totally peach. But this is just a biker jacket but yeah it definitely looks quite like a nudie colour but yeah that said I really love a boxy oversized biker jacket it's quite good because at the minute right now you can still put it with certain things you can layer up with hoodies and jumpers underneath especially on a slightly more warmer day you can definitely still wear this thing now and also on nights out but the colour is something that I'm not too sure about oh hello this is kind of also not quite what I was expecting but so far I'm really liking the silhouette of this this actually feels really, really nice quality as well. So it's like a tweedy, tweedy play suit. Is it play suit? Yes, yeah, play suit. And this, with a jumper underneath, is really, really, really cute, I think. Uh, I actually am really impressed with that. It's got a little bit of a sparkle running through the fabric, but I think that's really nice. And I also like the fact that the bottom half is cut to be very A-line. I think that looks really cool and it looks a lot more high-end than what this actually is. This is kind of like Chanel inspired on a very, very serious budget. I have bought so many pairs of jeans because I really wanted to try different things. So like I'm really loving the slightly longer jean look like not super slim leg not straight and cropped but actually like longer for somebody like me who's five foot three it makes me look a lot taller and also i feel like it's really quite flattering on the leg this is the raft jeans in a size eight and kind of like a more medium blue i either usually go for black denim or bleach denim so this is a little bit different going sort of in between for me and they just have the little split at the bottom i think this is nice it like actually makes like if you're wearing boots or sandals or whatever with them it makes it just like easier for your kind of foot to sort of fit in them i do find that being short i sometimes struggle with these because you know i'm short now this is the same pair but in a different color they don't have the split along the side they've actually got ripped to the bottom instead but I really, this colour is more my kind of colour denim. So it's also kind of like, look, looks like washed and faded a little bit. So it's got a bit more of a vintage look to it. Now, like I said, I am sure these jeans are probably going to be like super, super crazy long on me. The nasty girl ones that I have, I did have to cut them. I think I featured them in a video quite a while ago now. But I love them. They are so nice, but I did have to cut the bottom of them because I was like, Okay, wow. <laughs> these look literally like these are ridiculous on me. Ooh, which jeans are these? So these are also, these are the same, these are also the Wrath jeans. But this denim is really, really, really soft. And I'm not sure if that's because bleach denim tends to be, a, like, a, a, can tend to be softer because it's been processed more time, so it kind of weakens the fabric. Not really sure, but yeah, I really like the feel of these they feel comfy they feel really really comfy and then i got them also in black so these are also the split leg ones so you've got the little split at the bottom i really 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 wanted nasty gals version of these but sadly they went out of stock but the the black of this denim is real like true proper like black black denim so really really dark really strong Okay, still in denim, 
I wanted just like a really easy sort of casual throw on dress that also I could probably wear out with a blazer in the evenings. Typical me. But I came across this oversized boyfriend denim shirt and I actually think it's really really cool it looks a lot better on than I kind of thought it would it was just it was a random one that I was looking at it and I was like this isn't usually what I would go for but actually I really 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 like it I have been trying to find a really cool corset top that doesn't look too like tacky on me and I found a couple of the ones which go under your boobs like an underbust one and you wear it over a t-shirt with some Australian brands but I don't want to pay the import taxes so I've been kind of looking elsewhere and I thought misguided might be a good option and this isn't one that goes under this is just one like a corset style top which fits you normally but um it's got the boning in it and I just thought that actually this might look quite cool and actually styled over a plain white tee could look very very cool like very way more high end than you might think with like if you style it over a plain white t-shirt if you style it over quite a soft plain white t-shirt and a really really big blazer and a pair of jeans like I actually think that'll look really really cool so I've been after a skirt like this since I saw Lydia Millen wear this in insanely cool outfit featuring a corset skirt and it looked so cool so chic but the skirt was very 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 expensive and it's not something i could afford to buy just for the sake of like it's just not not something if i'm going to spend that money on an item of clothing i want to be able to get a lot of wear out of it and i was like yeah probably won't get a lot of wear out of this so miss Carter brought a sort of very very weak version of it um so I'm going to try it on and see how it feels. Well, like I said, I'm trying new things. Uh, this is, it really, I mean, this is nothing compared to what they brought out. But you know what? Like, yeah, it is what it is. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it a try. It might look, I'll give it a try. I'll see how I feel in it. Um, but yeah, having seen it in person, I don't particularly have the um, highest hopes for it. I've also got a lot of international travel coming up. Like, big, long haul holidays so i actually thought i would have a little look at just a nice new lounge set also great for the winter months when you're just sort of leaving the house i honestly when i go out and get a coffee in the morning i'm so embarrassed if i ever bump into somebody that like i know or somebody who follows me like or if they ever see me because i look so terrible i'm like out in like my sports trainers really baggy jogging bottoms and usually like a ridiculous fur coat and I look like a total knob, so um, I need to get something better. I've gone and tried this little two-piece set. It's just a real simple, plain legging. It's really, really thin. Hopefully, it won't be see-through. And then, just a really nice, plain jumper. I haven't actually got just a plain grey jumper. And it's really nice and fleecy and soft inside, which is so important. So, I think this is just, like, a nice one that you can just wear to the airport if you know you're going to be sleeping on a plane. Now, I haven't had a plain striped top, a new one, in a while, which is quite good because it's one of the things that you don't need to buy a lot of. But I went through a phase where I was like, oh, that one's nice, that one's nice. But this one... I, what had me was the sleeves. I thought the sleeves are really cool. It was a very, very updated modern sort of version. I went for what size did I get it in? This is an eight, so it's, it is oversized. Uh, if you are doing a cops and robbers themed party and you're going as a robber, this is a great one to wear. Wear it with a black skirt, or something like that, and you know, like an eye mask, black eye mask, and you, you know, you, you've got your burglar outfit done. But I do, I do like it. It's a nice basic to have. And I actually just think it's it's actually a really lovely piece. The style of it, the silhouette, is just a nice updated version of a classic. All right, so this I'm really excited by. It is a suit in olive green. Not the kind of colour I usually go for, but actually, like if you look in all the high street stores, there's a lot of green stuff going on at the minute, and it looks really, really cool. So yeah, this is the oversized blazer. It has got shoulder pads in it to kind of give it that more structured look. So yeah, I I I love a suit. I absolutely love wearing them. I think they look so so cool. So I'm really, really, really excited by this. Um, I've got a couple of other things this will go really nicely with. I've got a pair of green check trousers which i think will look super cool with the jacket as well so yeah i really like i said love a suit i think if you've got an event wearing something like this with a simple tee and loads of like cool jewelry it always looks wicked it look they look great with trainers they look so good with trainers i love suits with trainers hashtag new yeah new me oh no these are instant no <laughs> So I I love I love training, I love exercising. I have only recently developed the confidence to wear shorts whilst training 
something that in the summer is really going to help. But I've had it because obviously I've been away a lot. I've been in Australia. I've been in Bali. So it's been really hot there. And I've not been wanting to wear full length leggings. and be like sweating even more than I need to be. So I have bought some shorts. And I was like, oh, these ones look really cute. I love the design of them. But like for me, there is like... Like, they're really, really cheaply made. The material's thin. For me, if I'm going to wear a pair of shorts to the gym, I want them to make me feel amazing because it's already a little bit outside my comfort zone. I have, I'm not, I'm not the slimmest person in the world. I'm not a 5'10", long-limbed model. So, I want shorts to fit well, to sculpt me, to hold me in, and also sort of be supportive of all like, my jiggly bits when I'm doing bloody squat jumps and I can categorically say that these will not be it at all so yeah like it's like just no just no okay this is for one of my holidays coming up it's quite cool we're gonna give this a go it's an update on the simple black swimsuit it is got this corset detailing so I really like that I think it's really really cool and hopefully it's the kind of piece that holds up in the water. This actually feels like so much better quality than those shorts. So it's actually lined, is it lined? It feels, yeah, it's lined. So it's lined, which is really good. Um, it's, I'm actually quite impressed by that because they bought a lot of swimwear from, you know, these more affordable brands before and the quality's really been the but I'm pretty impressed with this. Then, I've got a couple of things to finish off on. Oh no, this literally won't even hold my phone. It looks so much bigger in the picture. So this is just like this like chain. I mean, it's basically a card holder. I actually really like it though, but this was styled over a blazer and I thought it looked wicked. And I like the whole like high, slung around the shoulder, bag, bum bag vibe right now. So this is kind of like a very luxe version of it. But like, I don't know. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, okay? that is not fitting. I think you could probably fit an iPhone 5 or 6 in here, but that's about it. So, um, which is annoying, because it would have been good to have had. Yeah, this is going to fit a few coins in it. This will fit a few coins in it, possibly a lipstick, and maybe a bank card and your Easter card. Oh, and you know what? This was probably something that I was like the most excited to try. So, it, it's HD Brows Brow Wax. Please forgive the fact that I haven't had a manicure. I've got one booked tomorrow. So, translucent brow wax is featured in our award-winning eyes and brow palette. Brush lightly over brows to set in place or mix into powder to create fine, mix with powder to create fine hair strokes. So, as you can tell, I like my brows to be pretty big and bushy. I don't really ever pluck them. I really love... Ooh. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I really love I love getting my brows laminated, but you can only get them done every five to six weeks. And I condition my brows with oil in between. So last time I had one done was probably five weeks ago. Let me come in here. But you can see my brows are quite shiny because that's from the oil just to keep them conditioned. So this is the brow wax, and I really hope it actually works. So it has quite a tacky consistency. I've used the icon iconic london brow silk before and i didn't find that particularly like helped it helps i like using it once i've just had my brows laminated it then holds my brows in place but when like the lamination has started to wear off i really don't think it does anything it doesn't hold anything at all so i am hoping this actually holds brows in place um so yeah anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope it's given you a little bit of style inspo into what things to kind of look out for and to buy into this year the things that i've picked out um there's obviously some very like trend-led pieces like the corset skirt and top but when worn with basics and things like the jeans and stuff like that actually they can work really nicely i mean you can't wear a corset skirt with <laughs> a um pair of jeans but you know what i mean so you gotta you gotta try new things so there's some nice like i feel like there's a nice selection of bits and bobs going on here like it wasn't all like whoa trend 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 there's some lovely basics happening so anyway thanks so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel please follow me on instagram as well i post more fashion stuff on there throughout the week the link is below it's at sophie milner underscore ff and yeah like i said subscribe to my channel for more fashion videos and i'll be back very soon bye guys